Hi, I am going to discuss about peak value, peak to peak value, RMS value, average value, form factor and peak factor of a given waveform. Maximum value attained by an alternating quantity during one cycle is called its peak value. It is also known as the maximum value or amplitude or crest value. The sinusoidal alternating quantity obtains its peak value at 90 degree as shown in figure. So this is the sinusoidal waveform for an alternating quantity. It could be the current or voltage as mentioned on the y axis. Here we can see that this is the positive peak value of this waveform while this is the negative peak value of this waveform. So here we can see that the positive peak value attained at 90 degree which is represented by VP. Peak to peak value it is the maximum value change occurring by an alternating quantity during one cycle. The peak to peak values of an alternating quantity is defined as the difference between its positive peak and its negative peak. So for this waveform we can see that this is the positive peak of this waveform while this is the negative peak. So it will be represented by minus Vp while this one is represented by plus Vp. The peak to peak value of this waveform is represented by Vpp which is between positive peak and negative peak. As per the definition, we can say that the peak to peak value of the given waveform Vp hyphen P is equals to the positive peak minus negative peak. And the value of positive peak is plus Vp. The value of negative peak will be minus Vp. So the Vpp, Vpp is equals to Vp minus minus Vp is equals to Vp plus P. When I will open this bracket, minus minus will become positive. So it will be plus Vp is equals to twice Vp. Vp. So we get that Vpp is equals to twice Vp. Average value. The average value of all the instantaneous values of an alternating quantity voltage or current over one complete cycle is called average value. Therefore, the average value over a complete cycle will be zero. Like if I am saying that this is the sinusoidal waveform for a quantity, this is sinusoidal, so the average value of this sine wave will be zero. Why it will be 0? V average is equals to sum of all the mid ordinates divided by number of mid ordinates. So for this given waveform, we have 12 mid ordinates equally spaced as shown in this picture and the magnitude of the mid ordinates is V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6, V7, V8, V9, V10 v11 and v12 now sum all the mid ordinates divided by the number of mid ordinates that is 12 for this waveform so v average is equals to v1 plus v2 plus v3 plus v4 plus v5 plus v6 plus v7 plus v8 plus v9 plus v10 plus v11 plus v12 divided by 12 if i am making the complete waveform like this and the one part is divided into 12 
metaordinates it means the negative cycle will be also divided into the same number of ordinates but the metaordinates for the negative half cycle have the negative amplitude therefore if we add the metaordinates of the positive half cycle with the negative half cycle the resultant will be zero so the v average for this waveform is equals to sum of mid ordinates of positive half cycle minus sum of negative half cycle mid ordinates divided by number of mid ordinates that is 24 if we have divided the positive half cycle into 12 mid ordinates and the negative half cycle is also divided into 12 mid ordinates so number of mid ordinates is equals to 24 so we get v average is equals to this is positive and this is negative so it will be 0 divided by 24 is equals to 0 therefore the average value of the complete cycle will be 0 root mean square rms value the rms value is the effective value of a varying voltage or current it can be defined as the amount of ac power that produce the same heating effect as an equivalent dc power the symbol used for defining a rms value are vrms or irms so let's calculate the value of vrms for this given waveform this waveform is divided into 12 mid ordinates and their magnitude is represented by v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 v6 v7 v8 v9 v10 v11 and v12 as per the formula vrms is equals to under root sum of all the mid ordinates square divided by number of mid ordinates it means the square of the v1 plus square of the v2 plus square of the v3 plus square of the v4 plus square of the v5 plus square of the v6 plus square of the v7 plus square of the v8 plus square of the v9 plus square of v10 plus square of v11 plus square of v12 divided by the number of mid ordinates and the number of mid ordinates for this waveform is 12 so vrms is equals to v1 square plus v2 square plus v3 square plus v4 square plus v5 square plus v6 square plus v7 square plus v8 square plus v9 square plus v10 square plus v11 square plus v12 square divided by 12 peak factor it is the ratio of maximum value to the rms value of an alternating quantity the alternating quantity can be voltage or current the maximum value is the peak value or the crest value or the amplitude of the voltage or current and the root mean square rms value is the amount of heat produced by the alternating current will be same when the direct current is passed through the same resistance in the same given time mathematically it can be expressed as peak factor is equals to peak value divided by rms value form factor the form factor of an alternating current waveform is the ratio of the rms value to the average value mathematically it can be expressed as 
form factor is equals to RMS value divided by average value of the given waveform. Average value of the sinusoid. V average of the sinusoid. Here we have considered a waveform of the full wave rectifier. So V average is equals to area under curve divided by T by 2 because the area under this curve and this curve is same. So V is equals to Vm sin omega t where omega is equals to 2 pi f is equals to 2 pi divided by t because we know that f is equals to 1 upon t where t is the time period of this waveform. So the average of the sinusoid wave V average equal to integration 0 to t by 2 V dt divided by t by 2. V average equal to 2 by t integration 0 to t by 2 V m sin omega t dt. We have substituted the value of V in this equation. V average equal to 2 V m is constant. So 2 into V m divided by t an integration 2 into V m divided by t integration 0 to t by 2 sin omega t dt. We can rewrite this equation as V average equal to 2 V m divided by t in large bracket minus cos omega t divided by omega limit 0 to t by 2 because the integration of sin omega t is equals to minus cos omega t divided by omega. After substituting the value of limit in the equation we get V average equal to minus 2 V m divided by omega t in large bracket cos omega t by 2 minus cos omega into 0 large bracket close. If we substitute the value of omega equal to 2 pi f is equals to 2 pi by t in this equation. So we get the equation as V average is equals to minus 2 V m divided by 2 pi by t into t. In large bracket cos we have substitute the value of omega from here 2 pi by t into t by 2 minus cos 2 pi by t into 0. After solving it t will be cancelled out here and this t will be also cancelled out V average equal to minus 2 V m divided by 2 pi in large bracket cos pi this 2 will be cancelled out minus cos 0. We can rewrite this equation as V average equal to minus 2 V m divided by 2 pi cos pi minus cos 0. As we know cos pi is equals to minus 1 and cos 0 is equals to 1. So substitute the value of cos pi and cos 0 in this equation. So we get V average equal to minus 2 V m divided by 2 pi in bracket minus 1 minus the value of cos 0 is 1. So minus 1 equal to minus 2 V m divided by 2 pi in the bracket minus 2. So this 2 will be cancelled out. V average equal to V m divided by pi into 2 equal 2 V m by pi. So we get the average value of the full wave rectifier sine wave which is represented here by this line. Let me consider a half wave rectifier sine wave as shown here. 
for the positive half cycle we have the output while during the negative half cycle the output is zero v average equal to one upon t zero to limit t by two because only during this interval the waveform has some value and that is vm sin omega t dt we can rewrite this equation as v average equal to vm by t integration 0 to t by 2 sin omega t to dt so vm by t is constant and we know that the integration of sin omega t equal to minus cos omega t by omega and the limit is 0 to t by 2 so we have put 0 t by 2 now from this bracket we can take minus sign common okay so this equation can be written as v average equal to minus vm by omega t in large bracket cos omega t by 2 minus cos omega 0 omega equal to 2 pi f equals to 2 pi by t so let's substitute the value of omega equals to 2 pi by t in this equation so the new equation will be v average equals to minus v m by 2 pi by t into t cos 2 pi by t into t by 2 minus cos 2 pi by t into 0 so this t will be cancelled out and this 2 will also cancelled out and here this t will be cancelled out so v average equal to minus vm by 2 pi in the bracket cos pi minus cos 0 and we know the value of cos pi equals to minus 1 and cos 0 equal to 1 so substitute the value of cos pi and cos 0 in this equation we get v average equal to minus vm by 2 pi in the bracket minus 1 minus 1 we can rewrite it like this vm by 2 pi minus vm by 2 pi inside the bracket minus 2 when we will open this bracket so minus minus will become plus so v average equals to vm by 2 pi into 2 and this 2 will be cancelled out so v average equals to vm by pi